Hey there guys, I uh, hope you're all well. Um, another video on misconceptions. Now this is uh, one that was requested. Uh, a really common mistake is uh, confusing the power of two with the uh, multiplying by two, doubling or squaring. So let's get right into it. Um, is times two the same as square? The confusion arises, I think, because we use a little two to tell when we're squaring, but actually with the exception of two numbers, it never ever is. I wonder if you can uh, think about what those might be. Uh, well, let's get straight into it. So here comes the misconception. So the first thing we need to do to help us get over this is to use a ruler. Now here's a ruler with 30 units. And if I take a rod, I take a stick, I can measure it according to the length of the stick and I find that it is four units. Now times two or double simply means twice as much. So here's twice as much. And if I put it in the stick, you can see that twice as much as that is eight and we can write that as uh, that distance it's representing a length so four times two is eight or you can write that as two multiplied by four two lots of four some people prefer to think of that as so there you go multiplication uh, can be thought of as a kind of distance a length a lots of but squaring is very different it literally is to do with squares and i've met many people over the years who who can tell you what a square number is, but they couldn't really explain why uh, it's called square. So let's just have a look. Well, the idea is that if I square this number, it means I literally make a square out of pieces that length. And so you can see that this square has a length of four and a height of four as well. Now, clearly I've used more sticks to make that and to find out how many, uh, let's use another ruler. So let me move these four uh, sticks into the ruler. You'll notice we write this slightly differently. We write this as four squared, and that literally means a square made from four by four. And if I put those pieces in, you'll see that it makes a total distance of 16, very different to eight. And we can write that as four squared, in other words, four lots of four, or four times four equals 16. So that's why square numbers are described as square numbers. They literally make a square using the pieces. Here's another example. It doesn't have to be four. It could be five. So here's uh, f two fives at the bottom. And you can see on the bottom ruler, five and another five. So the idea of uh, repeating an addition makes five times two or two times five, which is ten. And at the top, we've got a square, five fives. That square is five units in both directions. And when I separate those out, you'll see somewhat unsurprisingly that five squared makes 25. There we go. And we can again write that down as five multiplied by five. So there you go. There's the real key difference between how we write and how we visualize times two and squared. And maybe next time you see a little two that's slightly above the line and you'll think, oh yeah, that means squared. You can picture a square and picture the pieces moving out along the ruler and you'll be more likely to get it right. Okay, that's all for this video, and I hope it's been helpful to some of you. Uh, do feel free to like and subscribe the channel if you like, uh, and you'll get news of more videos as and when they're ready. All right, thanks very much, bye.